All right, hey everybody, we are back. We are looking at Ram trucks here because there is a secret hidden truck somewhere in here uh, that very few people know about for 2025, and it is awesome. It is a game changer, and we're going to show you. So, but again, it's buried in here, and nobody even knows it exists. We know that we got the 1500 TRX last year for it. This is going to be gone. It's 2024. 2025 we got the ram 1500 we got the ram 1500 classic which is that old school style one uh based on uh whatever it was a 2016 model i think it is and they keep it around still um and we know that uh and if actually if we go over here and we click on this for a second you can see we got a couple of options Come on, where am I at here? Give me something here. There we go. Uh, they got a Warlock model right here, which is pretty cool. Tradesman and a Warlock. Okay, if we look at this, let's look at this Warlock for a second. Uh, this is not the truck we're talking about here, but let's just look at this because this is kind of cool. So here it is right here. There's a old school Ram style looking Warlock. They don't give you a lot of options. Okay, um, you get 20 inch wheels on it. Uh, you get 275 60s. So I don't even know what those are tire wise. They're... Uh, uh, like a 30, I think that's like a 31 or something or a 32. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you get some steps options. It's got this interior, small little screen in here. Um, you know, analog gauges, which I like. I mean, the interior doesn't bother me one bit, but it's simple here in that fact. What do we got for options? You got an all-terrain package, which gives you a front and rear rubber floor mats, uh, and a center hub area in there. Um, you know, so you get some stuff in here. It's kind of cool. A little bit of protection option if you want for 400 bucks. That's a good price. Uh, so this is this one here, which is kind of nice. Uh, nice little truck, okay, but you get the 3.6 uh, Pentastar. Basically, this is the motor that you can get in it. Or you can still get the Hemi right now for no upcharge, which is kind of nice. That's a nice feature. I'm not taking that away from it at all. So kind of a cool truck, but it's kind of buried here in the classic stuff. Um, in, in Under the classic model, okay, it's under a 1500 classic. Uh, a good friend of mine has this exact truck. He's had it for three years now. This isn't new. This has been around. It's beautiful. But we're not looking at that, okay? We're looking at... Uh, let's do this again here. Let's go to uh, Ram 1500 series. Okay, these are the, the 1500 trucks here. You can see the Rebel, which is considered basically their top dog um, other than the TRX or the RHO. This is that uh, working man's kind of a, a pretty tough vehicle right here, this Rebel. And it's sweet. Don't get me wrong. But what if I told you, let's look at this list for a second, okay? Uh, so if we look at this on here, we make sure you can see it in there so it fits in. Okay, so here's a vehicle that Ram makes in 2025 that nobody knows about. It features a black grill with bold Ram lettering. 2025 Ram 1500 of this model rides on 18-inch, not 20. Remember, 18 is important for off-road. Smaller rim, more tough sidewall. 18-inch black painted aluminum wheels, Bilstein front and rear shocks, a 1-inch factory lift, and skid plates. Additional styling cues that differentiated the, this Ram from the rest of the off-road truck lineup, including LED headlamps, dual exhaust with black tips, tow hooks, black exterior badging, and available decals on the hood and bedsides. Standard on the package is an 84 uh, you connect touchscreen with navigation, which is pretty sweet. Seven inch driver's display, select control, adaptive or select speed control, um, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot detection, remote start, class exclusives, second row in floor storage, which I love. I had that on my Ram 2500. It's amazing. Two huge cubbies in there. You can even use them as coolers. Love them. Um, and they hide underneath the floor mats. Most uh, thieves and people don't even know they exist. They're incredible. Uh, other features include black cloth seating. Love that. I'm not a fan of leather. Leather wrap steering wheel. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Overhead console. LED bed lighting and power. Uh, fold away mirrors. That's pretty impressive for this thing. And it gets the all new 3 liter Hurricane standard output. Now I like the standard because uh, it still gives you a ton. Yet it's going to last a little longer. You're not working this engine so hard as you are the high output but you're still getting you know it's down 100 pounds of uh, horsepower or 100 horsepower and 100 foot pounds of torque basically over the high output but it's the same motor and again longevity is going to be here with this one i love the high output but this one you're still getting 420 horsepower and 469 foot pounds of torque that's awesome Okay, this thing's going to be incredible. Um, and that motor is going to run forever because it is so tuned down compared to the high output. Love that. Uh, here's your color. This in. Look at this right here. Starts at $54,000. Okay, that's include incredible. 56 if you count the destination, but still for a full-size truck, 
that's pretty incredible. Now, and if we go back and we look at all these specs, one inch lift, skid plates, uh, 18 inch wheels, Bilstein's front and rear, uh, all of this stuff that you're seeing in here, basically in LED headlights, it basically equals this. It is this, it is a Rebel, right? Now the Rebel, I believe has the high output motor, but this is a Rebel we're talking about. One inch lift, okay, 18 inch wheels, off-road tires, tow hooks on the front, Bilstein front and rear shocks, uh, rear locker, which they're not telling you in here, but it also has a rear locker in this model, just like the Rebel does. Uh, same mirrors, basically it's this truck, but $10,000 cheaper. What is it? Well, let's go build it, because you can't find it any other way. It just, if you look at this, you don't see it. It's not shown and nobody knows about it or talks about it much. So let's go see where it is. We got to go here. So we're going to dive in and we're going to go to uh, 2025 Ram 1500. Let's do it this way. We're going to go same thing. We're going to Ram 1500 trucks. Let's go to where's my build and price. Let's find uh build and price your 2025 Ram. We're going to come over here. It's going to give us this. We are now going to go now. Uh, is it uh, now keep in mind i'm going to just shortcut this rather than show you it is not available in a tradesman hfe it is not available in a bighorn it is not available in a laramie it is not available rebel limited limited longhorn or tungsten okay it is not available in any of these options it is only available in the tradesman which you will see which is a good thing and it's buried in here so we go to four-wheel drive then we're gonna come over here we're gonna go crew cab 5.7 bed because that's what i would want we're going to click on build. Okay, so here's that truck. Pretty boring, right? Pretty basic, pretty boring. Nothing fancy about it. That's fine. We're going to just change the color to black. Let's just see what it looks like as a black. We'll add that in there. Okay, so boring tradesman truck. Now, let's change nothing, but let's just go add one package. So we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to move right along. Here's the interior of it. Not too bad. We, we're going to come back to that. Let's come back. To, let's go right down here to packages, okay? Look, you could add that same protection package. That's pretty cool uh, right there. They also have a, uh, uh, you got an off-road group right here. Gives you a locker, that kind of stuff. Some skid plates, which is good. Decals. You get the one-inch ride height. Uh, you get some neat things in here. Some uh, uh, 275, 20 wheels on there or, uh, or tires on there or 275, 65 tires. Pretty neat little stuff in there. It's kind of cool, but we passed by it. This is the key right here. Warlock package. Not the Warlock in the Classic. This is a new package. A Warlock package for the Ram 1500 Tradesman. Let's add this. Okay, what are we getting with it? We get a black Ram grill badge. Okay, so it's like a heritage grill. You can see it right here where it says Ram right in the grill. And you're getting 18 by 8 inch black painted aluminum wheels. Beautiful. Black exterior badging, a cluster with 7-inch uh, TFT color display, um, and uh, you get the dual exhaust with black tips, rear locker, LED uh, front LED fog lamps, uh, front performance tuned shock absorbers, by, those are by Bilstein, front suspension skid plate, fuel tank skid plate, full-size spare tire, black mesh grill surround. Uh, you're getting 33-inch tires on it, which is nice on a full-size. Uh, front and rear rubber floor mats on there. You're getting the one-inch ride height. You're getting the uh, rear per performance tuned Bilstein shock, select speed control, steering gear skid plate, tow hooks, transfer case skid plate, and Warlock detail. So you're getting what? One, two, three, four. You're getting four full skid plates on this package. Let's add it. Let's hit it and see what happens. Takes us up to $56,500 that you can see up here. We're in net prices. $56,500. What does it do to our image we have up here? So now, boom. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing and see what we got going on here. There it is. Look at that right there. Okay, that is the Ram tw or 2025 Ram 1500 Tradesman Warlock, not the classic Warlock that they have. This is the Tradesman version. Tell me that doesn't look like a Rebel, even if I put that in blue. Tell me that doesn't look exactly like a Rebel minus the sticker. Okay, and it basically is. This is for all practical purposes the same thing, but the motor is the standard output. Okay, we get the great tires. Uh, you can add tube steps if you want to. Okay, you get the simple thing. Look at the interior of this. I love this. 
analog gauges for the, your main gauges right here. Uh, cluster in the middle, 7-inch cluster in the center for all your digital stuff. 8.4-inch touchscreen with nav. Everything you're looking for is right here, fully functional like it should be. Knobs and buttons, and like I said, the gauges are amazing. can actually seat 6 in here if you want to, which is a beautiful feature as well, too, with the drop-down setup in there. Um, I, I love this truck. I straight up love this truck. And then we're going to go down. Like I said, we didn't add in anything here. You already got the troll, you hitch on there. Um, that's the technology group if you want that kind of stuff, which is not a bad thing. Probably wouldn't hurt to add that. Let Heck, let's add it. Let's just throw it in there. Uh, okay, so we added that in there too. Um, but uh, you don't need to add the sport package because you already get the blacked out wheels. You're getting all the stuff that you want already as part of this Warlock package. Everything is in there. You can add trailer tow group if you want this extra stuff in here. But again, I don't think you need it. We get down to powertrains. We are including in this one. It automatically made the change for us to a two or uh, for the three liter hurricane motor. Why did that price go up to 58.4? Whatever I did, I don't like in here. Something I did. Uh, let's can we remove that? What does that do? I'm not quite. Wait, hang on here. What is it doing? Why is it kicking me out of there? Hang on. We want to remove this. And then we're going to add that back in. I don't know what just happened. I don't know. I must have something in there. Hang on. Sorry about this. Uh, remove that yet. Yeah, uh, why do we got to uh, package you some, oh, requires, you got to go to Tradesman 1 Equipment Group as part of that. Okay. All right. Um, and we didn't hit that first. So 57, still, like I said, $10,000 cheaper. It's making us, but see, I don't, if I undo that, it's going to kick me out of the Warlock one, right? Hang on, let me see. Uh, it is going to remove it. So I need to have that in. Okay. So there it is right there. So you get the, uh, the in storage bins. This is part of what we were talking about. Uh, floor seats, uh, rear power sliding window. Um, but this is all part of this whole deal. Um, and when we go down, like I said, you get the standard output three liter, which is just incredible. I'm this motor is very impressive. Tows 11,500 pounds, carries a payload in 1,900 pounds. This is a heck of a heck of a truck. Um, and you got the uh, 355 gear ratio, and it does have the rear locking uh, differential in there. And you basically come to a summary right here of your price. Here is the truck. And uh, this thing is pretty impressive. Take a look at that. And for this kind of money in today's world, I mean, this thing's a FX4 eater. You know, it's going to, you know, th this is right there with like a, a Ford F-150 XF4 or X or FX4. This is um, right in line with your Chevy uh, Trail Boss, your Silverado Trail Bosses. Um, this thing's got a lot going for it. And look at it. I mean, you got the tires, you got the wheels, you got the tow hooks, you got the locker, you got the skid plates all the way underneath this. You got everything. And simple and affordable. So sweet truck. Definitely a sweet truck. Now, there's not a lot of information on it yet <clears throat> because of the fact that it is, it is new. Okay, this is a nice new feature they are bringing out. We will learn more about this, but look at that. I mean, like I said, I love Ram. Ram trucks are amazing, and their interiors are are second to none. They are the highest quality truck made today. I don't care what anybody says. They are the highest quality truck made today. Understand that. If you don't believe me and you want to argue that, go do some research on the internet first. Okay, learn first before you comment and tell me how they're unreliable and they're garbage and they're stuff like that. Because this is what I do for a living. And I'm telling you that Ram trucks are top of the line right now. There is no doubt about it. And they have been for the last like six or seven years. They are, they dominate up there and there's reasons for it. Uh, these are not your Rams from, you know, from 15 years ago. But point being, here it is. It is the Warlock package. It is buried in there, so it's very hard to find. But if you are custom ordering one, or so hopefully some dealers order this, but this is technically like a poor man's rebel, or I would say a smart man's rebel. I would buy this before I would spend the extra ten grand on a rebel all day long, one hundred percent. And that motor is just fine. Everything about this truck is just straight up amazing. Um, I'm very impressed with it. And like I said, I love that they're offering it. I just wish they would push it a little bit more. It's kind of kind of buried in there. But I mean, look at that thing. That's uh, see if we can expand and still rotate. We can. Yeah, look at this thing. There's your Ram logo on there. Tow hooks there. The wheels are sweet. Everything about this thing is pretty dang impressive. 
on every level. LED bed lights. You're getting all the stuff that you want is already part of it. The tucked up, nice and tight to the bumper, dual exhaust. Um, beautiful, beautiful truck. This is a super capable Ram. It is basically, it is a Rebel without the horsepower and the bells and whistles. And most of us don't want bells and whistles anyway. Uh, all the techie crap. This is the one I, this is the Ram truck I would buy hands down over any other Ram truck out there uh, other than a power wagon, which I surely can't afford. <clears throat> but I would not buy a Rebel. I would not buy an RHO. This would be the truck that I would be buying all day long, and I would be thrilled with it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.